of that. So my dog and I, like my literal dog, not my homie, um, just woke up from a three hour nap, maybe four hour nap. Um, we we're both pretty tired. I stayed up all night, um, well most of all night. I think I got maybe three hours of sleep last night because um, I was studying for a test and come to find out the test is no choice. Uh, and I didn't know that, and had I known that, I would not have stayed up the extra two hours to learn spelling of the stuff that I had to know. Um, so that test went really well. I got 100, so yay. Um, but as soon as I got home, I was out. I was, like, I, I ate food. I made myself some zucchini with spinach and an egg on top with a little bit of tomato sauce. Um, it was really good. And then the second I finished, I was like, no, yeah, time for bed. So we went to sleep, and Barbie's about to fall back asleep because she's a lazy poop. Now I have to take a shower, blow dry my hair, maybe do something with it that's cute. Um, because we are going out to eat, um, me and my coworkers. So I think we're going to a place in Vintage Park called El Tiempo. It's Mexican and they have really good food. Yeah, I'm gonna go ready now. Bye. <laughs> Hello. Um, so I just got home from the movies. Um, me and my parents saw Gravity. <laughs> which I'm going to talk about in like five seconds. So I just saw Gravity and I honestly can't decide if I liked it. It's definitely an event type movie. It felt very similar to being on like a ride um, at an amusement park in that like, I felt like there was a, a steady climb to the top of this plot hill, and then suddenly you're just, like, racing down it. And, um, it was very original. Um, George Clooney was very good. He's one of my favorite actors, just because, especially when he's allowed to be witty, um, like, in Ocean's Eleven and all of those movies very funny. I think he's hilarious. Um, Sandra Bullock started out annoying me. <laughs> like, I understand that her situation was scary or whatever, but I just found her annoying for the first probably 20 minutes. And that may be why I can't decide if I liked it or not. Because it was a good movie. But honestly, like, I, my, I feel like my heart rate still isn't back to normal. <laughs> Made me feel like I was anxious. Like, on a ride ready for this proverbial drop and when it came I was like <sighs> and almost the entire movie like my toes were clenched or whatever and my fists were like balled up in like folded arms and I was just very anxious just not very yeah. okay with some things um and this really reminded me just of just not being able to breathe <laughs> And so throughout the whole movie, I felt like I was just, like, sipping air. Um, and then once we left, I felt like I was finally, like, actually breathing. For originality of, like, storyline and characters, I'd probably give it a 10 out of 10. Just because it was a good story, and the characters were done really well. Um, and there's not very many characters in the entire movie. But each one is so deep, and I feel like in this movie, I felt like it was going by so fast, just because I felt like I was getting to know these people really well. I don't know. As far as, like, overall rating, I don't know. I guess I'd have to give it an 8, because, like, I was happy with the story, but it scared the crap. Like, I can't, I can't let it, I can't let it have 10. So, 
Yes, now I'm going to go get ready for bed. We'll see y'all tomorrow. Bye.